And we're back with more Kingdom Hearts, Lee and Strive talking stuff while wandering through Hollow Bastion looking for books. But that has been done, so now it's elevators and other bullcrap. Hooray! Riku tried to stop Sora from doing Sora things, but he used the power of friendship card that is stronger than anything and just won that argument. And Lee beat shit out of Riku because he was trying to fight. You don't fight the power of friendship. The, the power of friendship always wins. Yep. Yeah. Very compelling. <laughs> but yes, last episode we learned things about each other that I don't think Lee even understood. I bet she probably wondered al aloud. This is kind of strange. Why am I around him? And then it, the shoe dropped that I haven't watched other shows other than anime in 15 years. <laughs> So, oh. yeah, that was a discussion. See ya! Yay, looky. But, um... But, yeah, the important thing, I think, is... Not that anyone is a... Because there's a dichotomy. There's you like different things and do different things and watch different things and you're well rounded. Mm -hmm. Then there's the approach that I would take is like liking what you like to a point without it coming. How would how would I describe it? Um, what I don't want to do is become my dad with Star Trek. Force. Right. Oh, or like my mom. My, Force. Yo, my dad loves Star Trek, and he would be the the fan of Star Trek, where he would do anything except dress up at conventions, mostly because it's not worth the trouble. But he knows the ins and outs. He would talk about it. He would talk about the directors. He would talk about that, and, and I do that too sometimes. Like. I will harp on, you know, different aspects of, you know, voice acting, and who does what, and I, I, you know, this game franchise does this thing, and does this thing, or it should be this, you know, but at the same time, because, because I think I ran into this situation when we tried to record this the first time, where I would harp on it too much, and it became incredulous. I don't know if incredulous is the right word, but... Um, it became in intolerable because you're listening on the other side going, we're doing this again we're discussing this again we're talking about Kingdom Hearts not whatever, you know, because it was the Final Fantasy 16 thing um, you know mm -hmm. and part of the interaction is being hyper focused and having a knowledge base Fire! And I've always tried to come off as somebody who is knowledgeable Fire! about franchises without it becoming a hindrance to, hey, people have never played a Final Fantasy game before or a Kingdom Hearts game. I've seen that. The thing, if nothing else, I've learned about, say, Twitch or YouTube is the amount of people who have never played a Final Fantasy game or whatever, which seems alien to me. Now that I've said, this is all I do, you can see where it kind of feeds into. Oh my God! I'm kind of, where do I where do I talk with people? Because that's how I interact with people. If I don't have a thing, especially say if I'm at work, if I don't have a thing to talk to them about, I kind of freeze up. You know, I'm I'm not good at that. So for me, it's like. See, somebody's never played this before. You no. Know? How do you make it interesting for somebody who has? You know, because you don't know what somebody's going to be like until you first meet them. That's the problem. Is a person could be super into one thing, like I am, super into a lot of things, like say you said you were, mm -hmm. or somewhere in between. So 
it, it becomes a thing where do I end up like my dad and I just keep talking about Star Trek and we keep watching Star Trek and we keep talking about it and watching it because this is what we do on our days off, you know. And I'm not saying Star Trek's bad. I'm saying it as a as an interest point of if this is all we're talking about, it gets old, you know. So that's part of part of it too is I don't have the frames of reference that you would for stuff <laughs> so I don't I don't know. Yeah. but but at the same time I don't want this to become a I know better than everybody else because I've played every game on the existing like no because there are franchises I don't know shit about I remember the guy the other day is like, hey, have you played Final Fantasy whatever? Have you played Pokemon? No. So even in even in the frames of this genre, there are games I've never played. You know? Because again, you can't watch or play or see or listen to everything in existence. That's the important thing that I don't think culture in general gets across. And as I've stated, I'm apt to do this too. Thinking everything revolves around a certain thing or a certain person because you're the person who lives it. You're excited about the things you live. You know, I'm, I'm saying in general terms. Mm -hmm. But that excitement turns into fr frustration if nobody's as interested in the same thing or says the same thing, you know, because it's the hive mind personality. It's like, you have to believe the same things we do. Otherwise, you're an idiot, you know. I never want to do that. Because imagine if I was like that. It would be terrible. Why? It was mine. Speaking of terrible, hi, Riku. No, How are you doing? The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. Is it wrong that I kind of want to want to do what that voice is telling me every single time? A little, but then again, it's. Um... I mean. It's the first it's time that, we've heard that voice in like 15 hours, really. It's, it's that voice, so who wouldn't want to do it? So. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've, I, I, no, I know what would, I know what would make Lee's day if somebody could make a mock-up of Cloud in the policy when he talks in Willie Zane's voice. I think I've made that. No, joke. no, that would not. No. It wouldn't work. No. Oh yeah, because you like you like you like uh, Cloud. Yeah. What about Squall with Billy Jane? Would that work? No. 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 We'll, we'll stick. We'll stick with. Who no. Come on. Anyway, but, yeah. oh. Come on. Hey, sometimes you like the bad boy. <laughs> sometimes a girl just got a date and about the bad boy. <laughs> she said it not me. I'm a good little boy. I never cause problems. Um. I mean, I, I like art a lot, so like <laughs> But seriously, yes, he, he owns the fucking scenery, and even Kuja in his weird, pompous, theatrical way. And yes, he's sort of cute in that weird androgynous Japanese way. But but Kuja actually blows shit up. But yes. Um anyway, what were we saying? We got distracted by talking about pretty hot villain guys. What were what were we doing? Um 
but yes. Kingdom Hearts is fun. We'll start with that. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. This is all synthesis items. Cool. All of this stuff down here, this is all synthesis stuff. Everything, everything after Hero License. Yeah, it's four, pa four torn pages. Uh, I know you got White Trinity from... Because you were going on break to talk to Barca, I think. But... Oh, I did. I learned Trinity. White Trinity. <gasps> yeah. Yay. So go back do all that stuff now. There's one outside. Um, yeah. Hooray. I'm sometimes useful. And Goofy, your mouth is disturbing when it's all I can see. Um, you might need that checked out. These things are so freaking easy to beat. Now that you have a, now that you have a stick to your keyblade. Yes, now that you have a stick to your keyblade. Um. A stick on the brain? Could be. Maybe, maybe it's the fact that I actually got more sleep than I did last week. I got sleep so. last night too. I feel good. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause I readily admit the the Atlantica and Monstro episodes were not not the best last week because they, we were kind of yeah they were not that fun and we were also really crown really cranky. Yeah. <laughs> the power of Christ compelled you. Wait, no, it's the power of Mickey. They don't have Christ in this. You want to know something really ridiculous that I said once? Dude. Um, it, it was a misquote of the power of Christ compels you. I sat there at one time. I looked at Barca and I said the power of farts propels you. Oh. It was awful, but it was awesome too. It, it was the situation. I mean, I don't remember all of the context, but once you have the context, it was really funny. I mean, it has to do with farts. I'm sure it worked in some sort of weird context. It, it, it was just, it, it was the situation. The context of, you know, the situation that was going on. It, in that moment, it was absolutely terrible, but hilarious. And it's like a total true statement, too. I think he was making a joke about like a fart powered balloon or something. What the hell? He has some interesting hobbies. Well, he thinks of some pretty powerful stuff. That's because I think, you know. I'm not one to talk. If anything about this last couple of episodes is going to go. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I've been watching. Uh, I've been watching a video game about solving, uh, solving murder cases, and yet the the main female character is a ghost who sometimes sits in a barrel, and lets a person shoot arrows at them, and poke holes in them so you can see them to, 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 to solve answers. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking. About. What the hell? It's from a. Uh, it's a new game called Game Code. Um, it's from the guys who make Dead and. That was about a murderous teddy bear who does death games to high school students who kill each other in weird ways. Um, so yes. Do totally I want to know? Relevant. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just say Kingdom Hearts is less weird than that, if you could believe it. Um. I kind of have a hard time believing that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Nice little Disney game about Disney people and hearts and darkness is nothing to do with a girl in a barrel in a swimsuit, but don't ask me. Um. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to have it as a thing on Twitch or YouTube yet, so I'm getting through it and trying to figure out if I like it. 
<laughs> because that would be a change of pace, wouldn't it? We go from kid in clown shoes wa waves a key around to destroy monsters from Disney worlds. Whatever the fuck Danganronpa is. I don't know. Yeah, it would be strange. <laughs> oh, now there's... Oh boy. <laughs> so yes, talking about fart balloons seems less frustrating now. <laughs> But uh, again, uh, I think it is all about how you approach a situation and how uh, it's more about how you interact with people who have never. It's selling yourself. Whether you're selling yourself as a person, you're selling yourself as an employee, you're selling yourself as a friend. You're selling yourself as uh, a I'm glad you elaborated off. on that, by the way. What, did you think I was trying to trying to say something naughty? You, it, okay. No, I'm thinking of it from the perspective of because games as a service, the idea of it. I, I remember because um, we were talking about my dad with Star Trek. Some of the stuff I like, how would I talk to him about it? Well, if it were me, I would not show him the game with the ghost girl in a swimsuit in a barrel. I would show him Cowboy Bebop. I would show him... Yeah, I think I'd show him Cowboy Bebop. Right. There are levels, right? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I showed no. him... Okay, uh, before you continue... The reason I got confused is because you went so far off this topic, I forgot we had been talking about it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> as, as happened, it's kind of been a multi discussion. Um, because Hollow Bastion's big. Um, but again, it's... If you're trying to sell this game to somebody you don't know. Very basic. That's how you have to approach things. You have to say, well, it's a game with Disney characters. It's a game with people from a franchise called Final Fantasy. But it's also got guys beating stuff up that are, you know, enemies and stuff. You just do that. You go into different Disney worlds and fight Disney stuff. And, you know, you get to see all that. You know, because people who have never played Final Fantasy might go, what the fuck is this? But they might see the Disney stuff and go, oh, I remember that as a kid. That's kind of neat. Where does this go? I'm more of a Final Fantasy guy, but I have a limited Disney concept, so I'm like, I'm learning about more Disney stuff the more I play this in a small way. So if I was to advertise this to somebody, I would go, well, on the basic level, you know, you would just have to think, lowest common denominator in five seconds. Oh. Speaking of, I do have a way to actually Discord share movies with you. Oh, damn. That's I'm, nice. I'm thinking we might need to start your Disney education. <laughs> I'm learning. It's so good. Um, I think it, I got a really good one for you to start with, too. I bet you'll like down it. Under. Huh? Rescuers down under? Dude. I've got more taste. Ouch, I didn't know. I just picked a, I just picked something at random. I'm not saying anything bad against the rescuers, it's just they weren't my thing. Shut up, phone, we're recording. You were saying? Um, I got a good one for you. A good one. The sword and the stone. Oh. Oh yeah, that was because Merlin is it. Yeah, Merlin is in it. It's basically... You don't know what this story is about until the end when it becomes painfully obvious. The movie is about a little boy named Arthur, but everybody calls him Wart. Including Merlin. Merlin starts calling him Wart, too. <laughs> and 
really... Merlin knows that he's destined to be something great, and he wants to try to help him along that path. <sighs> but the poor kid's guardians keep getting in the way. Because he's actually, like, a little orphan. But he's a sweet kid. He's got a good heart. Again, it's the sort of thing like trying to sell something within five seconds. Because I think whether you're at, like, I'm at work and I'm at Lego, and say somebody comes and says, Hey, I'm looking for a thing. You have like three to five seconds to interact with somebody, and it comes across really quick whether you know what you're doing and know where something is, or, you know, let me get somebody who can help you, or, I don't fucking know. Yeah. But within like five or ten seconds, you can tell if somebody's like me, who knows everything and everything about a certain thing, and flies off the handle, or, well, okay, if you've never played before, let me see if I can explain. Oh, heck. You know, when, um, when I worked at Walmart, there were times when we'd be like, we were told if we were, because I worked on the front end, I worked the cash registers and stuff. Oh, boy. So... <laughs> Yeah, I saw the worst. But, like, oh. if we were coming back from our breaks or something, and we were officially on the clock, if we saw someone on our way back towards the front of the store that was confused, you know, we were supposed to try to help them. And I've, that happened to me one day. I was walking through, um, I was walking through the clearance stuff on my way back to my cash register. And... This, this one person was looking around confused, and I'm like, can I help you find something? And they were looking for cookie cutters. So, you know, like, I asked what kind they were looking for, and they're like, I'm not really sure. And I'm like, well, here's some seasonal ones that we have out, because, you know, holiday baking is going on right now. And then if you need other types of cookie cutters, they've moved them back to um, the arts and crafts section with all the cake decorating supplies. And I can show you where those are. Because I knew my way around that store really good. I was there all the time. Of course I knew my way around it. But um, but that that was literally the kind of thing we were supposed to be doing. Oh, well, yeah, and 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 like if we were and if we were late getting back to our cash register because we were helping somebody, they couldn't penalize us for it. Ah. And that's all I had to, some, my, like, one of the CSMs was like, why are you so late? I'm like, because I was helping a customer find cookie cutters, and no yeah. one else was around. Yeah. And Forgive they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's literally all I had to say, was like, yeah, that, that's it. There was nobody around, and this person needed help. Okay, you did your job, that's good. You okay. weren't goofing yeah. off. That sounds really frustrating, at least with Lego, like, they're not... Well, they yeah, have to make sure that you're not stealing company time. Yeah, but still. Because think... in the call center I worked at, it was a huge problem. People would go on their break and then not come back on time. And then yeah, and that... people that needed to go on their break couldn't go because they were stuck on the phones answering calls that the late people were supposed to be taking. So, yeah, that, it becomes a horrible thing. You know, if you think you think you're sticking it to your boss, taking your you know coming back late from your break, the people you're really sticking it to are your coworkers. Yeah. Because <clears throat> this is the thing is I do think there is a we tend to think, and again I'm generalizing that the stuff that bugs us is the stuff that happens to us the like you could go through a day all the time and it not bug you at all mm -hmm. but then one weird interaction whether it's an internet post or a person at work or whatever and it's the thing that bugs you because they're the ones just 
raining on your day because I was I was at Lego the other day and a kid was you know showing their parents hey I want to buy this they were walking out the store and we were told not to do it you know and and then she does it again after they pay the register is like 100 200 feet away I'm legally blind I can't see them paying for the merch lady who's not their mom i guess or is their mom has the receipt in their bag but the kids has the receipt you know has the box the disney box with them you know and i'm saying hey mind if i see the receipt i just you know the kids walking without a bag and so like, well, no you, you i don't need to show my back no i'm just you know and it becomes a thing i was like well your manager should have told you about that we were coming out i'm like no but you should tell your managers about this bullshit that you're you know, doing i'm like no and then it's like the woman with the bag comes by and says okay here's the bag and i try to defuse the situation and the lady's like, no, I'm going to show you the receipt because you asked for it, because that's what you said you were going to do. So she's shoving the receipt in my face. Take a look at it like a good boy, because you're bugging me. Oh my god. Door. That's just, fucking like, obnoxious. Yeah, so you can see where it's like, if you try to act... And, and again, the thing that I had in the last episode where it was a really stupid comment, you know... As long as you're aware that you do stupid shit and you own it, I think it. Res I think people can understand it. When you act like that lady, or you act like that person, you know, your boss is at the call center or whatever. It's like there's no there's no point to that because it sends a bad precedent. It sets a bad example because what if somebody's trying to shop at a store or play a video game and all they know about this video game is. These guys online said this is stupid. You're stupid. And whatever, you know. You can see where that would really drive somebody to like. Is this game really worth it? <laughs> this guy's acting like a bit of a dick. Well, what really got me is that um, it wasn't so much that like that we would have to explain why we were late. If we were going back to the cash register. What would get me is the customers who would sit there and complain to customers to a CSM or something about how I was with them. And then this one CSM would come back and literally start yelling at me in front of other customers. Like, instead of just pulling me aside and saying something quietly, she would literally yeah. start shit in front of the customers. So it became this thing where I was constantly feeling defensive because I was having to defend myself against this person who was basically get sh tell just do something that you know you're not supposed to do just because it shuts the customer up and it was something technically i couldn't do anyway the customer who complained about me brought me a, a coupon that had already expired like a couple of weeks yeah. before and yeah, i had no way of bringing that coupon up because yeah. it was expired. The cash register would take it. Yeah. And then she complained about it to customer service, and customer service just gave her the difference. And then the the um the uh the CSM comes and starts yelling at me in front of other customers, and I'm just like I noticed when they started looking when they were going for their round of who are we gonna promote to CSM next? she wasn't a CSM anymore. Oh. No. And after she no. got demoted from being a CSM back to cash registers, she became a whole lot nicer. Uh. It was like and, this... And I... it, it was one of those things where power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Yeah. And, and I have had this. I've had other jobs where like, I never complained at all because I was never a manager. My mom works for 3M and worked for, like, 30, 40 years. And she said, management sucks. Never do it. Management and I does I never suck. forgot it. And I, I'm, a, I'm one of the lucky people who gets to live with, like, part-time work. So I'm okay with, you know, 20 some hours, 25 hours instead of the, the usual 40. I understand that some people aren't that lucky. And a lot of people work 40 hours because they have to support themselves. But 
there comes a point where taking it out on people who are just, you know, living by their policies, you know, because we're trained to act a certain a way because we're representing a company. We're also representing ourselves. But it, it becomes a, like, now a manager is saying stupid shit to their employees. That doesn't reflect well on the a company either. And no. it reflects poorly on them because they're taking out their frustrations, which could be a lot. They could be working a lot of hours. They could be frustrated. They could be lack of sleep. Who knows? But they're taking it out on the employees, which could be for no reason, you know? And especially, like you said, in public, which is even worse. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it, it says a lot about you know, and we're tying it to the video game stuff, is like, people are representing a product regardless of how they talk about it. And if what you're saying, you know, the public perception of, say, a Lego company is going to be different than, say, a GMC or a Walmart. But that stems from how we interact as workers or whatever. And I readily admit, if I was a manager working 40 hours, I'd probably hate my job too. <laughs> you know? Because that's what happens, you know, because I remember a stretch of like three weeks where I worked 40 hours nonstop plus weekends because we had no other people working. This is how I quit my job because we didn't have anybody else there. I worked every single hour, every single day. That's how I, I remember not wanting to do full-time work, you know. That's why I've always maintained for something like this the same sort of policy. This is never going to be, I'm making money off this, or I'm working with it. We're not doing this every single day. At most, we're once a week. Like, hey, how you doing? You want to try this? You want to work? You know, And it works, because imagine if we did this every single day. Like right? I'm supposed to be trying to do. Yeah, like, ugh. I know, right? Like, I think we would... I think we, you know, outside of some weird instances here and there where I put my foot in my mouth like an idiot, I, I think we work well because we don't interact all the time. Yeah. And imagine if we did. It would suck. You know, we would have things like to like talk about. Not all that, <laughs> you know. I'm Are not you trying, trying to, to say you don't like me? I'm yes. You are! You don't like me! <laughs> oh my... Wait, what? I, I said, I are you trying to say you don't like me? And you just said yes. I, I thought you said the opposite. Anyway, you see what's going on here? I'm getting distracted because I'm making a stuff. <laughs> but, oh my but again, god, you, you stuck saying? your foot right in there. Yes. Because I, I, I thought you said one thing and Discord said another, you know. But, but anyway, what we were saying about Kingdom Hearts? Oh yeah, the whole advertising Kingdom Hearts thing. If I was advertising Kingdom Hearts as the game with the hearts and the darkness and the hearts and the darkness, and it's dumb. Like I did a couple months ago, it would come across really bad. If all you saw from us was the Atlantica and Monstro episodes where we were just cranky and frustrated, yeah. it put a bad taste in people's mouths. But it, it we have would. stuff like... That. Yeah, but then you have stuff like Agrabah and Olympus Coliseum and Neverland. Those are, like, really fun, you know? They were interesting and weird, but they were fun because I love stuff about yeah. them. Um, so... And the thing I don't want to... I, I don't want people to think that just because the Monstro and Atlantica episodes were you know, not our favorite, that King Hearts as a whole is, eh, we're not having fun. No, this is cool, right? Yeah, we're totally because, having fun. Yeah. And a lot of it is... Because a lot of it is the backtrack. Yeah. That tracking can get a little boring, but this is such a fun game to play. It's I'm sitting here, I'm beating the shit out of Heartless. I'm having fun. Yeah, and again, a part of it is doing the point of beginner, you know, because Because I can't. And also going yeah, and going through Olympus Coliseum and getting some high level equipment, you're one shotting dudes. You can like, oh 
oh, okay, I'm backtracking and figuring out where to go, but it's like, I'm not frustrated. Okay, I think... Yeah, this is what I missed. This is where I need to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot to come over to the other side. That's what Oh. But, but again, you can see where, like, it's not endemic of human parts. Well, to paraphrase a death and hopefully make the song a little more interesting. I don't know that. She's just got this boring fucking song called Hello. Or Hello from, Hello from the Other Side or something. It's literally about this... It's the most boring fucking song I've ever heard. I don't get me wrong. I've heard Adele sing and she doesn't suck, but her songs are really fucking overrated. Yeah, I I know I know Skyfall, but that's all I really know. And I haven't heard that in years. The movie was good though. Oh my gosh! What? This one, Wyverns. Popping like, up at me oh every my... time I turn around. I was like, oh my god, you watch James Bond. Oh. I like I'll James see. Bond, I just haven't seen any of the Daniel Craig. Um, I literally Casino haven't Royale seen any of them. And No Time to Die are pretty good. Um, Skyfall is also good. Quantum of Solace, I think, gets a bad rap. I just think it's the writing of the main villain and this plot is kind of crap. But Spectre is kind of good. So, of the, of the five, I would say Casino Royale, um, Skyfall, No Time to Die, those are the three to watch. The others are fine enough. I mean, Spectre's cool because Dave Batista's in it, but it's like... Okay, that's not a selling point for me. Oh, but he's awesome! He doesn't suck, I'll give him... He's funny as shit when he's playing drafts. Yeah. And to be fair, he doesn't. He gets like the first scene of the movie. Like he actually gets to talk. It's actually kind of neat. Um, it's almost like Cabin in the Woods. Like he's the main character of that movie. I'm like, okay, that's an interesting. I would not pay him as a lead actor in anything. But, eh. but, but again, I, I'm a. Like if I was to get into anything ever again, it would be James Bond. Like I need to like rewatch those movies again. James Bond. Even, yeah. I mean, considering the fact that if you look at it in a certain way, he's probably the worst spy in the world because everybody knows who the hell he is. Yeah. Almost almost like John Wick. Like, everybody knows who... But that's the concept of that franchise, though. Oops. Oh. Oh. So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes. The keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it, and the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. Ah, impossible. The princesses of heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. The King's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay oh. here and guard the princesses. Also, somebody needs to fix that floor. It's kind of disgusting. Yeah. But anyway, oh. I'm afraid you're too late. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unseen. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, yes. the mistress of all evil! Yes. 
Have you seen these the lately? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's this way. ignored all the bullshit going on around me and just focused on her. Yeah, you jumped on her th You didn't even wait for, like, the Jafar thing where she would float around everywhere. No, you were just on that platform and just said, nope, to this. Yep. Yeah. See what happens when there's no extra bullshit in a boss fight? <laughs> oh, look, a hole. Oh, look, a save point. Right? I'm jumping Yay. on the same point! <laughs> Yay! Uh, but, uh... Um, I think this is a good place to stop. Alright. Well, Maleficent couldn't stop Lee the first attempt. I wonder what will happen now. I guess we'll find out next time.